This video is for tribal communities in collaboration with tribal youth. The following video contains scenes of an overdose that may be harmful or traumatizing to some audiences. If you or someone you know is struggling with alcohol or drug misuse, call the SAMHSA National Helpline at 1-800-662-4357. I'm coming. Jess, hurry up. We gotta drop Granny off before the game. I'm coming. Got breakfast and bingo today? I didn't know the Elder Center was still doing that. My bingo bag doesn't lie. Hop in, girl. So, did you finally do it? Yep. Did you use protection? <laughs> <laughs> no, Granny. I was asking Jess if she told her auntie that she got into North. We're going to be besties in college, too. Looks like Chris is back in town. But I think you already knew that. So, I did know Chris was in town. We've been talking ever since he left for college. I am just doing some research on North. Anyway, when Chris found out about our weekly pickup game, he said he wouldn't miss it. Just knew Chris was in town. I don't know why she's lying. It's not like she's been obsessed with him since middle school or anything. But I don't know. Since Chris went to college, he's gone into the party scene. And I just want Jess to be safe. My uncle's been talking to me about fentanyl on the res. And I don't know. I just get bad vibes. Oh, ball, ball. Good shit, man. Too easy, man. Sam, might be a top dog in high school, but you're underdog on the court. Whatever, bro. College has made you cocky. You ain't all that. Don't be jealous, little man. Everybody loves Chris. Yeah, right. Granny said that the last person you dated turned out to be your cousin. Oh! oh. I don't know what's going on, but are we gonna play or what? Yeah, you ready to get beat or what? Let's go. Whoa, whoa. Sorry to be the best there ever was. <laughs> Whatever. You guys cheated. Basketball's in our blood, brother. Yo, you want some? It's me. Oh, nah, bro. I'm good. You already got into school. It's not like they're going to test you again. What's the matter, dude? You're a senior. It's cool. Whatever. We'll see you all at Porky's tonight, right? Go have a beer pong and DJ. Sure. What was that all about? Nothing. I wanted to tell Junior about what happened, but I'm pretty sure he already hates Chris. Plus, he tells Granny, like, everything. And I don't really know how I feel about the whole drug thing. But I don't really think it's for me. I mean, I like Chris. And we're going to the same school next year. But... I don't know. Hey, girly. You ready for Porky's party? Yep. I needed to get my head straight. I knew my Auntie Lou could help. You're being awfully quiet. Auntie, I need some advice. What's up? 
I don't know, Auntie. I really like Chris, but I... What happened? He offered us a hit from his dad pen. You know, I wondered about him and Petey. What did you do? Oh, I didn't use it. Girl, you almost gave me a heart attack. Auntie! It's just that these days there are no safe substances. You wouldn't take food from a stranger, would you? No. <sighs> Have you ever seen one of these before? No. What's that? It's a Narcan kit. I got it from the clinic. And these little buggers reverse an opioid overdose. You just put your thumb here. You put the tip in the person's nose. Then you slide it up until your two fingers touch the bottom of their nose. And then you squeeze up. If they don't respond within two minutes, you might have to use another one. You might have to use four or five if there's fentanyl in the drugs. What? I don't need this. I told you, I didn't take it. Look, Jess, things happen. Fentanyl is getting slipped into all kinds of drugs, even weed. I want you to take this, even if you don't think you'll use it. Auntie, are you telling me to do drugs? No, Junebug. I'm saying you should always be prepared. I'm taking Narcan everywhere with me. That way, if you see someone who looks like they're overdosing, they're knocked out, they're not breathing, they're pale, they're not responding to you, you can yell for somebody to call 911 and you can use this. Thank you, Auntie. Easy, just saying. Go, 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 go. Ah! Talking with my auntie gave me a lot to think about. Chris was funny and talkative, but he slipped away a few times. It was a little weird, but I didn't really think much about it. But then, around 11, we heard PD yell. Chris, Jess, come here, come here! Hurry, come here! Sam, wake up, wake up, Sam. Man, I swear. I just came in here and Sam was all pale and sweaty. I can't get him to wake up. Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam wake Sam. up. Sam. Come on. Sam. Sam, wake up. Sam, wake up. I saw Sam on the floor and it clicked. My auntie's Sam. words came back to me. I grabbed my bag with an Narcan kit. Jess acted so fast. She grabbed Petey and told him to call 911. She used two Narcan nasal sprays, one up each nostril two minutes apart, but it wasn't enough. Even after two doses, Sam still wasn't breathing. Hey, wake up. We thought yeah. Sam was dead, Sam. Sam. and hey, that was all up. the Narcan we had in the kit. Sam. That's when Granny showed up, after Junior called her. She had another Narcan kit she got from a health nurse at the Elder Center. Junior gave the next dose to Sam from Granny's kit. And Sam came back to life. He was out of it, but he was alive. We got him a blanket, turned him on his side so he wouldn't choke if he puked, and we waited for EMTs to show up. I could have died without everyone's help. I just didn't want to be a buzzkill. Petey and Chris were teasing me and I was drinking. I figured I could just, like, do it leave and no one would know. That could have been me. I took the same pills as Sam. 
I can't believe I was into Chris. He was the one who pressured Sam. I almost lost my friend. Has anyone heard from Sam? The next day, everyone got together for pancakes. We texted Sam to check in, and Granny showed us what she learned at the Elder Center. You need, you need to be prepared. These are fentanyl testing strips. You can use these to test different kinds of drugs for fentanyl. They aren't perfect, but they can keep us safe. You should carry these along with your Narcan. It, it might not be the last time you encounter this. This works for any Any. Auntie also said that it was good we called 911. And Granny, our resident superhero. How's basketball going? When's your next game? We have a game this weekend. I mean, I love my friends, my auntie and granny. I get why some people use drugs, but it's our job to make sure that everyone stays safe. The people in our community are worth protecting. No matter what happens next, we'll all have each other's backs. Through thick and thin. To find programs and treatment for substance use disorder near you, visit the SAMHSA website at www.samhsa.gov slash find help. You can also call or text 988 for the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. They offer 24-hour, toll-free, confidential support for people in distress.